The world today is characterized by an ever-growing number of contacts resulting in communication between people with different linguistic and cultural backgrounds. This communication takes place because of contacts with the areas of business, military cooperation, science, and education. In all these contacts, there is a communication which needs to be constructive as possible without misunderstandings and breakdowns. There is, therefore, a need to explain the manner in which intercultural communication skills enable greater effectiveness in personal and professional life. So what is intercultural communication? It refers to the effective communication between people, workers, and people of different cultural backgrounds. It also refers to communication between people whose culture perceptions and symbol systems really stink enough to alter the communication event. An academic field of study which seeks to understand how people from different countries and culture behave and communicate and perceive the world around them. There are four elements of intercultural communication. Number one is the perception, which are the beliefs, values, attitudes, worldviews, and social organizations. Number two is the verbal process. It is the ways in which cultures employ symbols to portray things and experiences. Number three is the nonverbal processes. It is shared thoughts and feelings of bodily behavior, time, and space. And lastly is the contextual elements, which are business, education, and healthcare, tourism, and personal relationships. So why do we need to study intercultural communication? There are several reasons why we study intercultural communications, such as increases self-awareness. One of the most important reasons for studying intercultural communication is that it increases our awareness of our own culture, our cultural identity, and cultural background. It helps us to avoid ethnocentrism, Ethnocentrism is a tendency to think that our culture is superior to other cultures. Number two is for demographic changes. The constant demographic shifts that countries and communities experience result to more immigrants, refugees, and undocumented individuals. Thirdly, is for the workplace and economic globalization. To compete effectively in global market, we must understand how business and cultural practices are conducted in other countries. Next is for creative problem solving. According to research, we learn from people who are different than us from those who are similar to us. And lastly is for global and interpersonal respect. Created using Powtoon.